How's it going, folks? How's it going? I'm Brother Matthew, and this is Christian Coffee Time, where we sit down together to study the Word of God. So yesterday, I got into a little bit of a debate. Well, it wasn't really much of a debate, as it was telling someone off. <laughs> um, every once in a while, the cults come at me across social media, from YouTube to Facebook to Instagram, everywhere. Um, they're trying to tell me how I'm wrong, call me out, and everything else. Um, and it's been a while, actually, since I've had the individuals from the Hebrew Roots Movement, also known as the Black Hebrew Israelites. These individuals are special. They're a special kind of cult. Um, <laughs> uh, these individuals deny the gospel according to Scripture. They believe salvation is by keeping the law strictly that they actually believe themselves to be the jews of israel but they're not uh, they actually condemn real jews they're massive anti-semitists uh, they're extreme racists uh, they believe that only people of black skin can go to heaven and that every other race it was created to be enslaved by those of black skin um, yeah, they are immoral, vulgar, vicious, vindictive, hateful, spiteful individuals. Um, you can hardly get a word in edgewise without them cursing you out. They have no problem with uh, extreme vulgarities. Um, yeah, they, they, they also teach and believe that white women were specifically created to be sex slaves of uh, of. Uh, the black Hebrew is like men. Yes, yes, this religion is quite special. And then furthermore, what they do is they go on and degrade the Jesus of the Bible. They say Jesus is the king of hell, bo uh, boiling in a vat of feces for all eternity. And they get that from, uh, I don't know where, but uh, I've heard that well more than once uh, from individuals that I've debated of, of that cult. I've long since cared about debating them. They uh, deny scripture outright, twist scripture up and down and all around. Uh, they they are so messed up. Anyways, <laughs> uh, the, the one big main argument that they use, you hear them saying all the time, is their immediate knee-jerk reaction is to say that salvation is only for the Jews. Only the Jews can be saved. And I asked one once uh, some uh, BHI teacher, Black Hebrews like teacher, where do you get that? He pulls up, he is all proudly grabs his uh, his ripped up Bible where he just and he, he pulls up John uh, four twenty two. Ye worship, ye know not what we know what we worship for salvation is of the Jews. Jesus says in John four twenty two. If you back up, you see Jesus. Uh, and talking to people, and he says in verse 21, Jesus saith unto her, Woman, believe me, the hour cometh when you shall neither in this mountain nor yet at Jerusalem worship the Father. Ye worship, ye know not what. We know what we worship, for salvation is of the Jews. But the hour cometh, and now is, when the true worshippers shall worship the Father in spirit and in truth. For the Father seeketh such to worship him. God is a spirit, and they that worship him worship him in spirit and in truth. The woman says, I know that Messiah comes, which is called Christ, when he is coming to tell us all things. Jesus saith unto her, I that speak unto thee am he. So the Samaritan woman at the well. Now, okay, John 4.22, is, is Jesus saying only the Jews can be saved, salvation is of the Jews? Is that what he is saying? Well, if that's what he's saying, then God's a liar. Because we see a big problem when you go back into even the Old Testament, how many times you see Gentiles getting saved. Over 120,000 Gentile Ninevites repented and got saved by the preaching of Jonah. We see the Gentile uh, God Emperor of Babylon, Nebuchadnezzar, getting saved and writing Daniel chapter 4. Uh, you see all kinds of uh, of Gentiles and and pagans and people uh, repenting and getting saved all throughout the scriptures. Even in the ministry of Christ, we see the uh, Gentile Samaritans, Romans uh, coming up and believing in him and getting saved. 
We see Jesus going and helping and healing and calling and drawing people of all of all nations. We see Greeks coming down at one point in the mystery of Jesus saying we would see Jesus. They want to know, want to hear. And then afterwards, you see the after the Great Commission and people going out all around the whole world. And you see uh, Paul going to the Gentiles. All, this, all throughout the scriptures from Genesis to Revelation, you, also, you see the Lord calls all, draws all. And we see in Acts that, that God has made all men of the world of one blood. All right, so if your God is a hyper-racist, biased God that only saves people based upon melanin of skin, uh, your God is a demon and not the God of the Bible. Um, furthermore, Abraham was a Gentile. Abraham was a Canaanite. Abraham was of the Ur of the Chaldees. God bless.